Hey, I'm Lee, a cosmetic formulator. If you're new, welcome. If you're subscribed and returning, welcome back formulating friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this super easy and lightweight gel moisturizer. So let me tell you, my favorite thing about this formula is that it's pretty simple. There's no heating, there's no white rubbing time, and it feels amazing. So if you have oily skin, you may really love this formula. Now in phase B, I did choose lighter emollients over plant oils, and that's so I can achieve that silky soft velvety texture. But if you want to substitute any ingredients, make sure you check out my blog in the description box. And also, if you need help converting percentages to grams, check out the resource I have linked for you as well. Starting with phase A, I've already weighed out 81.90 grams of water, and now I'm just adding in 4 grams of propendal. And once I finish adding the humectant, I'm going to continuously stir until phase A is completely homogenous. So we're going to set phase A to the side and move on to phase B. And we're going to start with the polymeric emulsifier, which is going to turn this formula into a gel and also emulsify the water and oil phase. Then we're going to add in our lovely emollients and then stir them together. But just a quick brief on some of the emollients I chose, like caprylic hypertriglyceride. That's also known as fractionated coconut oil. It's very lightweight and non-greasy. Then I have C1215 Icoid Benzoid. It's an emollient that will add that silky texture to the formula. And then isosterol alcohol, that's a fatty alcohol, um, that's going to assist with spreading easily on the skin. And it also has like this silky light fill with moisturizing properties. And then lastly, we have cocoa caprylate. And this is an alternative to silicones. It's very lightweight and it has like this nice velvety feel and also fast spreading benefits. So now we're going to move on to my favorite part of the formula and this is where we're going to combine both of the phases that we've already completed. We'll pour phase A into phase B and then continuously stir. Now you want to stir until you see like this nice smooth and glossy finish. Now as you can see um, there was no heating required for this oil and water emulsion and this is what we call cold processing. Um, for me, personally, it really makes formulating much easier and a lot faster. Okay, so after we make sure phase AB is homogenous, we will now add in our phase C ingredients. And I am using Uxel PE9010 for my preservative. And tocopherol is going to be important, especially if you decide to add any plant oils into this formula. And then once we add these two ingredients, we're going to continuously mix it until everything's homogenous. So now that I'm completely done with my formula, I'm going to check the pH and I want this to be between 6.3 to 6.5. I still have a video coming up on pH so be looking forward to that. Um, but I did check the pH and we were sitting at a 6.41 which is perfect. And after we check the pH, we are going to cover it and leave it overnight. So we are going to give this one last stir before placing it into the desired packaging. Now, I just have to say that cold processing emulsions are one of my favorites to make. 
but also I'm just really in love with the texture each time so I really hope that you decide to make this yourself anyhow um, I will be placing this into a glass bottle and also have an airless sample package here I will leave a link to where you can purchase both of these and somehow I did lose the footage of me filling the bottle but I will say it was a bit difficult so if you don't have a filling machine I'm just warning you now And lastly, my favorite rule of thumb, make sure you label your sample with the name and the date that you made it so that you can always track your work. I hope that you found this formula quite easy to make and if you decide to try it out, please let me know how it turned out for you. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the watch plate and I'm also going to apply it to my arm so that you can see the texture. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later.